Good morning ladies, it's Penny at Penny's Place. I thought I'd come on this morning and show you what I've been doing the last couple of days. I've done another cup as you can see. Um, oops. That way. This is a denim. Denim and lace one, this one. Uh, the denim is off an old pair of jeans of mine, which were very, very, very dark. They were very dark, as you can see. So I, um, I cut a piece off and bleached it, um, and I bleached the couple of little the belt loops. So, the first thing I did, I know it's not straight, it's not meant to be, it's meant to be a bit, yeah. Um, I fringed both sides and then did double stitching all the way around. Uh, hopefully that will hold all the fringe in place. Um, the others haven't gone anywhere, so presumably it does. <laughs> and then... Um, I went in my little stash of uh, bits and pieces and uh, in lace. So I did like a flat lace at the back. And then I found this, um, uh, it's called a dragonfly, maidenfly. And uh, he was just plain, he was, she was. Uh, mm, go the right way, pen. Uh, uh, we're there, right in the middle now, aren't we? I'm here. And so I've done some little blue and white pearls along his tail. And um, some very tiny sequins for his wings. And then I had some tiny little silver beads, seed beads for um, his antenna, is there. And I thought they went quite well with this little strip of trim, which already had uh, sequin flowers in the middle. So I quite like that. This little piece I cut from an old denim type dress I had, um, mid denim colour. So I cut out a flower shape and then I went round it all with a bit of glossy accent actually on the toothpick, just to stop it fraying. And then I sewed um, a sequin and a bead on each petal. I added some, before that, I had added some leaves from a different trim. And, um, and this trim was from another trim. <laughs> and I thought they looked quite well there, one, two, three. And a little flower here, which I didn't want to put any sequins on. Uh, there you go. No, we have to go this way. Uh, I didn't put any sequins on because it's it's close to the buttons, and if you put too much in that area, it can um, you know get in the way of of your wrist and your uh, studs. So that's what I did, and then I sewed on the back using the same from the same denim dress that I'd done this flower in so that's what it that's what it looked like so I hand sewed that on the back and then Arthur very kindly put my studs in for me and I'll show you it works I usually have it that way here we go but it's whichever way you find it easier to put on and oop oh, Oh, well, I should have got you a bit close now, aren't you? Hold on. Hey, there we go. So that's what it looks like on. And uh, they are very comfortable, these. Very comfortable. So, I'll be making up one shortly, I know. But this one's going in the shop, so... Um, later today. So, if you want more pictures of it or anything like that or you've got any queries about it just get in touch and we'll sort something out <coughs> excuse me 
So that's my cuff bracelet and so easy to get undone. No cliffs and clasps all over the place. So that's that one done. Um, I finished up a card. This is for um, a relation of mine. Well, an ex relation actually. And uh, it's her birthday at the end of the month. So um, I've done this for her. And I've put a little pocket in there so I can put something in. And I was going to play around with this one, but it's a bit it's a bit wide now, so I changed it to this one for in here. So um, lovely papers and a little stick on dragonflies. So I think it's come out quite well. I like these things with the two little brads for door handles, and I coloured in the um, butterfly with um, oh dear. Um, alcohol ink pens and I've put some tiny little sequins here and there as well very tiny if you can see I think I used a magnifying glass for that I would have done and uh, a nice arrangement of flowers as well so I hope she likes it she likes pretty things anyway so that's there so if you see these little envelopes, I've been watching Harold Tinson, haven't I? Doing lots and lots of bags. Well, I've got a project coming up. Um, I'm just waiting on one of the elements to come through the post. It's to do with cats. You know I love cats. So it's to do with cats. So I wanted something to put this project in. So I decided to make my own bags. These are out of tracing paper and in fact I had to turn around the picture because otherwise it come up the wrong way around if you know what I mean. They went that way. So we had to sort that out. So I've done quite a few little bags of putty cats and these bags are so easy to do. Um, Arthur has got me some stronger um, tracing paper from um, Ryman's, the, the office shop. It started off because I had quite a few of these. That was that say, happy birthday. Uh, I had quite a few of these. I think they came from a charity shop. And I've never really used the paper much at all because it's, it's so all over pattern do you know what I mean so I couldn't put it like on a card because it covered everything up and all up so I thought they'd make absolutely fantastic pockets so that's what they've done and then I went on to this is one of my favorites I went on to um, copying out from this is actually from um, rice paper you know decoupage rice paper and I do love these images on it so I photocopied it onto this paper and uh, it makes a very sweet bag and of course you could still add lots of elements if you want to it and um, ribbing up here, a bag enclosure, oh, all sorts of things and then I've got a man coming up, a man, oh, I should be so lucky, <laughs> birthday and uh, he loves travelling and that when he gets the chance so I photocopied this old map onto another piece of uh, paper and we've ended up with that. So from a very plain piece of tracing paper it comes up into a very efficient bag. And there's some more that I've um, you know, got curled over um, that I've dyed, uh, dyed that I've um, printed out from sheets of paper so that's some of them I've been doing with not much decoration on and uh, this is where they're living at the moment in there but some of them I've gone a bit more to town I'll show you I've quite a few this side size where am I yeah that one as well I had another one so these I decided to kind of decorate and um, 
the statue of quite simply as you can see I'm going to make that a jagged edge or if it's something small you could make two holes and put a ribbon through it lots of ways I'm not decided yet how, how that's going to so it's quite handy just to leave the top until you know what's going in there and where it's going this one I've just noticed got a bit of glue on the on the corner I'll get uh, the uh, thing that takes glue <laughs> takes glue away and uh, it's come a I must have touched on some glue but um, that was simple I did like the autumn leaves and so I did a bit of a nature thing there this is the only blue checked um, a ballon paper I had so um, I've just carried on the theme with some a little bit of broken lace and some flowers this one I quite like the sheet was this one side and this the other side Oop. yeah and uh, again I've gone with this theme paper nature paper which I quite like first of all I put a doily folded in half and you can just see a pink of it and there's quite a bit to see on the back I then put the plain part on like a ballet band yeah and then I had some over which is the other side and um, so I did a small ballet band around there this piece on top and I've just used pink, uh, old pinking shears not me not the ones I use for fabric and then I found this lovely butterfly who, um, who I thought complemented the colours. So uh, that, I'm quite pleased with that. This was done about one o'clock in the morning, by the way. This one, again, this is the only colour I've got, the only one I had in this colour, I should say. And I was finding it hard to match up. Anyway, I found these birds with a little bit of the yellowing and what have you. So I've gone again with similar colours to the other. But this is a stamp from a sheet of paper I don't know where from so that's a handy little bag then I went a little bit bigger and also a bit different this paper is actually from well it's from the rice crispy bag <laughs> my breakfast rice krispies uh, when I'm not having porridge and um, so I ironed it with a uh, a big cloth over the top so it wouldn't burn I washed it first I gave it a really good antiseptic wash first inside and um, and then found this paper I've got this actually on a card and I do like it I like the way it goes into darker darker pink so I keep photocopying it because I think I've used all the actual card up so uh, I found this one which has got full of um, letters on and things like that. There's my little thing. I can just see a little bit. Most probably won't even need this corner when I cut it down. But we're going to stick it anyway. I, I couldn't sleep last night. So it was like gone two before I, I went to bed. So just to hide the seam at the back I've done the same just photocopied that the same is on that I've added a bit of lace at the bottom and then a very pink um, cute pink handmade flower um, what do you call it out of um, bomerin and I made that flower myself and uh, I think it just finishes that one off so they were quite pretty to do. Um, I don't think I've done much more. There's another one using that same paper again. Um, I've just done a big ballet band around it. Found some pink ribbon. Found some pink ribbon and um, some paper flowers. Somebody bought me for as a Christmas present. I think a pack of a few packs of different kind of flowers. That I don't normally use so um, so they come in handy so that is another piece that was to be restuck down penny do it now because you put it to the side and then it won't be done this is what happens when you're staying up half the night doing things see? 
So that's going down there. I'm just going to stick that down there. So uh, I'm going to. Uh, Arf is going out at the moment. He had to go on messages as he calls them. Have you noticed that in Scotland they call them? They'll say I'm going shopping. Do you want any messages? He'll say. Say messages, you too? I don't need to send a message to anybody. But messages in Scotland means shopping. We're going for the messengers. <laughs> so you learn something all the time. I should know by now. So that's it, ladies. That's it for now. Anyway, um, I brought a cup of tea here, so I'm going to have that. And um, I might do a couple of bags with you. You can help me decorate some. And uh, we'll see how we go. So thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Please leave a comment. I do like hearing the comments. And, um, and I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye for now.